is um, housing affordability, there is no sign that those houses, particularly in that bracket, are, are coming down. And you talk about people being able to get in earlier, but that just means them taking on a much bigger debt that they'll be saddled with for a longer period of time. Um, you heard Saul Leslak there say that really what we've learned over 60 years of history is that it just makes the houses more expensive. It doesn't change who actually gets into the market. So who has this helped that wouldn't otherwise have been able to get in the market? Well, our policies have helped around 300,000 first homeowners into the market. Uh, this policy itself has helped tens of thousands. And as I say, it's not a policy that changes what people bid for houses or the value of houses. It's a policy that simply focuses on the fact that the deposit has acted as a barrier. And so Scott Morrison announced this in the last election campaign three years ago. We've delivered on it. We've seen that it is making life easier for first homeowners to not have to wait the years it can take to get a 20% deposit while you're also having to pay rent, but instead to get in there as long as the bank says your income, your management of your finances means that you can afford this loan, then we can save you that double hit uh, of rent plus deposit saving at the same time and instead actually get you into a situation where strong economy means we're able to help you own your own home faster uh, with a program like this designed to ensure that you can start paying off your home much sooner than okay. would otherwise be the case. And Tanya, if, if your party is broadly supportive of this initiative, does that mean you can see that the government has taken effective action on housing affordability in its last term of government? Well, I wouldn't concede that at all. It's harder to rent a place, it's harder to buy a place, and we've got more homeless Australians than ever before. So while we support this measure, we don't say that this on its own is enough. We actually have a, a $10 billion housing future fund, which would see 30,000 additional uh, social and affordable housing homes built, uh, including at, at least 4,000 set aside for women and children escaping domestic violence, uh, including thousands um, set aside for, uh, for um, older women, veterans. Uh, we know that veterans and older women are two of the fastest growing groups of people moving into homelessness. So of course, uh, we welcome the government doing what we've been calling on them to do with this program. But like a lot of what Scott Morrison does, it's too little too late. This is one measure when we need to be doing so much more to genuinely tackle housing affordability in Australia. And of course, we know that um, you know interest rates are about to go up. So not only are rents really tough and getting tougher, uh, but we know that mortgages are about to get harder to pay off as well. And that goes along with a lot of the cost of living pressures that we see on Australian families where everything's going up except for people's wages.